League of Legends started out with just 17 champions during its beta and has since grown to feature 139. Items, characters, and Summoner's Rift itself has overgone massive changes over the years. The meta has shifted every new season, but certain champions have remained at the forefront of the competitive scene through it all. Across all professional leagues, these champions have reigned supreme. Here are the five most played champions in competitive history. Number five. The fact that Rek'Sai was released in late 2014 and still makes the list just speaks to how heavily contested she was from the get-go. In 2015 spring and summer in NA, the Void Burrower was played 92 times and banned 50. That's just in North America. Her mobility from tunnels made her a top pick in the jungle, and the vision from her Tremor Sense passive gave her a huge edge over opposing junglers, but it was counterable. And then use her ulti to leave. So Tito can keep making plays in mid lane and then look for one now. Caps is oh, here. Oh, Trick gets jumped on. Three members of Fnatic. That was fantastic. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic. They <laughs> did not budge. They were setting up and playing. Oh, that was beautiful. Even with her reworked ultimate, she was a top five pick in the jungle in 2017. Number four. Elise crawled onto the rift right before season three, and by 2013 summer, she was picked or banned in over 90% of games in NA and Korea. Early after her release, she was flexed as an AP carry both mid and top, and even saw time as support. Anything to get her in your lineup because she was that strong, but obviously she became most played as a jungler. The odd one is close by, but I'm not sure he's got enough. He's gonna have to go so, so deep to try and land this one. He wants to get in, get the smite down. He, he did gets get it. it! He gets the smite down for TSM. Well, it was a sacrifice, but it was worth it. They have to try and at least get the jungler out. They don't want a 50-50 C9. Actually in a pretty precarious spot. It's Mithy gets strung, propels for down. He goes into the pit though. Pumps the zone is just Mithy. buying time. Damage still there, but Smithy! Oh my god, he stole it! Not able to take him down, and Immortals are gonna save the game. That was a thing of beauty from Smithy. Number three. First of all, Braum brought Poros onto the Rift, which immediately made him a fan favorite. In terms of gameplay, Braum's unbreakable shield become an insane counter to poke comps and was just terrific in general at keeping allies safe. Double if now in a bit of trouble. Hype is gonna proc Impact. We'll keep testing in. Bounces on his head. Double if oh! This is the net, and Impact gonna chase him down. One more. Oh! Oh! His peel potential combined with the CC from his concussive blows and ultimate made him a must have in the bottom lane. For all of 2016, Braum was a top five pick in all major regions. And after just a few weeks of season eight, he's already been picked over 70 times. Number two. When Thresh came onto the scene in 2013, he was immediately looked at as the most mechanically intensive support. It doesn't matter if it's engaging or escaping, Thresh can do it all. Oh, uh -oh. Mad Life, Mad Life, Mad Life. Catches Mark Noon, can he 1v1 and Mark Noon trying to get away. There's the Fox, Mark Noon leads oh! up and gets pulled back in. No way! Oh, I can't believe that death sentence. 2,000 gold, he is almost the lead. Double him now in a lot of oh, trouble. What a play. play was incredible. Manages to catch him out of the flash as well. Bunny Foo Foo is a god. I'm putting it out right here. Regardless of the meta, Thresh has remained a viable support pick ever since his debut in the scene. And despite multiple nerfs and tweaks, the Chain Warden remains to this day as a support that every pro needs to have in their arsenal. Number one. Ah, Gragas. The oldest champion on the list with a release in 2010, and probably the champion whose playstyle has changed the most over the years. Another champion that has seen pro play in every role except AD carry, Gragas was a top tier mid lane AP carry in seasons three and four, which made for some interesting highlights. But it's a little bit too late. They have gone deep on towards this one. Explosive cast. Whoa! Oh my God. Reckless just Holy got crap. destroyed. They saw the teleport to the left actually on the way in so they can Mundo really can get approach this. Greg, oh my god! That's what? game! What was that? He just won the game with a couple buttons. CLG can be punished for what they tried to do. They weren't Oh! Out. See you later, Gator! 
both Link and Double Lift going down. AP Gragas was eventually nerfed into the ground, but he was reborn again, this time as a tanky bruiser played mostly top lane or in the jungle. That's where the Rabble Rouser sits to this day and is a good fallback pick for most junglers. In Season 7, he was the most picked champion, being locked in 1,083 times. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more esports content.